What's going on, Bayfo World? I'm working my way back down here, guys. It looks like it's getting steamed up a little bit, but I'm back out here in Jamalville Historic Site. A lot of you guys started calling it Fairyland. It's, it's a good name after that crazy ass orb I seen. It's a great name for it. But we're down here, guys. I'm gonna walk in a little deeper today. I'm gonna try to. It's freezing. Freezing like a dumbass. I got jogging pants on. <laughs> but I'm gonna turn it around and let's see if we can see some Bigfoot, some orbs, some fairies, or whatever they are. Let's just see what we see, guys. I'm out here. Let's get it. Now this is where I think I started it off last time, right before this structure right here. But the fairy, or not the, I don't know what you want to call it, the orb, the big orb ball. You guys got me calling it fairy. Um, didn't start to the next structure. And I knew when I was coming in last time, I kept hearing knocks up there on top of that ridge line. Guys, Scott Malika captured some great footage up there. I'm going to post it right after this video, actually. I'll post it right after this video so you guys can see. There's this first structure, that tree wrapped around. As you guys see, we got a, a light dusting snow, and it's currently snowing right now, so who knows how much we're going to get. Today's a good day to really come out here and look for tracks. You got to pay attention for this orb, too, because he pops out. It was down around Washington's Rock that picked me up. It's beautiful out here. I love it out in the forest, man. With this snow, it lets me know if anything's in the area, too. That's another great thing. This area here, well, not specifically this area, back up on the other side of the road is a Jamonville camp. It's like a youth camp for the winter. There's something sitting down there looking at me. No bullshit. You can't see it. It's in the weeds, but it's right there. Dark, dark, dark black. I'm gonna keep watching it to make sure. Look like a black dog sitting there watching me. To be honest with you, it still looks like a black dog sitting there watching me. It looked like it got mud on the front of it. God, tell me what I'm looking at. My eyes are watering, and this is real. I can actually see hair. I can't see it because my eyes are watering. Can you guys see what I'm seeing? I see his arms, feet. I see everything. I'm scared. It's just sitting there. Uh, the more I look 
at it, the more it looked like a root. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. You get scared of a root. Man, it looked like a wolf was sitting there watching me. I'm not going to lie, it still does, and there's nothing going on here. It definitely still does. That'll freak anybody out right there. That scared the shit out of me. It is a root. Tree came down. That's That's tree nice guys. For those of you saying that they migrate, tell me why they sitting here knocking. Man, I, that looked like a wolf sitting there watching me, just staring at me, like motionless. It scared the shit out of me, I ain't gonna lie. All right, up here, Washington's Rock. And this is kind of where the fairy started picking, or the fairy, there you guys go. The gigantic orb picked, picked me up and it followed me the whole way back. Except for I was on the lower part down that way when it got me. But I want to go in a little bit deeper. So I took the high rise, walking in this way. Guys, if you see anything, definitely leave it in the comments. Because this place is packed with God knows what. Definitely ghosts. War soldiers are seen out here on Washington's Rock. Actually, you can Google it yourself. Jamonsville, Washington's Rock. In Pennsylvania, you'd be amazed at the history this place has. Especially, I'm the only one out here right now. Crazy enough to come out in the snowy cold. Now there's a lot of people come out here in the freezing cold just to hunt, cause I seen a bunch of them on the way up here. Okay, right down there is that structure. That's where the ore picked me up at down there. But I'm gonna walk past, go deeper in. I messed my back up yesterday, and this hill just ain't helping. There's tracks. I don't think there ain't. Coming up here. But they kind of stop at the top, which is really weird. No, they don't. I see them. I still see them. Behind me, I just heard like a collar rattle, like a dog collar. But it's beautiful up here. In the snow.
it's also dangerous. The ledge right here. Probably can't tell on film, but if I mess up, I'm going way down there. But on a good note, I can see anything down there. It's just this side. I got a bank and I can't see nothing. But I was just thinking, guys, if this thing shows up again today, if this orb shows up today, there's no sunlight out. So that'd be a plus. We can rule out the sun. Which I've done did. I done did that. Just the way the thing moves, the way it dances, goes out, comes back in. There's no flare whatsoever. It flare left my mind quick watching that video. I'm sorry guys, I'm out of breath, but I'm nervous too, walking through here. If you knew how haunted these woods were, <laughs> I've experienced some crazy, crazy things out here myself. Mostly at night though, I never, I don't think I've ever experienced anything in the day other than that orb. Something snapped the shit out of that tree. Pretty big tree too. And it's like I'm five nine. That's about six foot up off the ground. Seven foot off the ground. That's amazing to see that kind of force being done. far off in the distance but other than that there's no birds no nothing no deer it's so quiet super quiet I guess that's what you want there I'm walking fast, but this is slippery and it's all downhill. I got to be careful. I'm by myself, guys. I mess around and fall and hurt my back. There's no service out here. So I got to crawl. And then by the time I get out, hypothermia done got me. So I just got to chill. <laughs> If you guys can understand that. Who knows what we're going to see out here. I can't wait to watch it myself. And I'm out here walking it. This tree is going to be falling at any time. As you guys can see it's completely hollow. From the termites. Termites got it four up. See, that's why the Bigfoot come here. It's a protected area. All natural, historic, and archaeological features are protected by law. National Park Service. And that's why I believe the deer during hunting season come here. The Bigfoot, all the animals that don't want found. In the winter, they come here because it's protected. That's why nobody comes here in the winter. Definitely structure in that for sure. That's amazing. It's cool they built us a little bridge out here in the middle of nowhere. I'll use it there. I ain't complaining. Appreciate that. Guess probably a mud hole through here, a swamp coming up through here. Look like a wide river, 
creek bed of some sorts. Sorry about the sniffles, guys, but it's like 19 degrees out here, 20 degrees. The snow ain't even snow, it's like ice balls. But I'm out here. I can't stop thinking about that orb that got me back out here, I ain't gonna lie. Let's walk out this way. <laughs> Why didn't they put this at the entrance? They put it two miles in. Talking about park open, sunrise to sunset. The U.S. boundary. That means they want you back out past this point by sundown. Well, it's... <laughs> It's that ass. You're gonna see something you don't wanna see out here. And that's what protects us from them. I believe that strongly. Nighttime is when they come out and they want everybody out of here before they start playing. Or you might be lunch. It's basically what that sign's saying. That, song, that sign's protect you. seeing the tracks or anything but this is hard too it's crunchy hard you probably can't even see much no you can't even see my tracks coming through here so that explains a lot I'm gonna keep it moving through here even though I'm out of breath <laughs> I need to shut up for a minute what I need to do say it but I swear I just heard like an Indian chant it's hard to tell if it was crunching but you know, it's like my mind recognized it as Indian Indian chant I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that it was nothing like that little girl as Sheila's world telling me, hurry up, Jonas is coming, get in. I'm gonna figure out how to take clips off of YouTube, off of my channel, and I'm gonna make little clips of that. That was crazy, that's one of the freak. Oh, a deer, it's a big buck too. You ain't gonna be able to see him, he's too far. He took off to the left, that was a nice size buck. See what I mean, guys? The wildlife come here to survive. They know it's protected. They're used to not seeing people out here. That's cool. I'm glad they got a little safe haven. If I won the lotto, guys, I swear I would buy this mountain and turn it into Bigfoot Mountain. Nobody allowed in, just them and me. <laughs> You know I gotta come and hang out with them. That'd be awesome. And after a while they start getting used to me and seeing me, you never know what, how they would take, they take me in or kick me out. I don't know. I guess them are my, my dreams. What the hell is that? If I had to guess, I'd say that's an underground facility up on top of that mountain. You know, I got to check. I'm in the forest. And then to come in to see something like that, it's amazing. Let's see what this sign says before I go messing around. Don't say anything. Surprise attack. About 7 a.m., most of the 32 French troops camped here 
were preparing breakfast or just arising, suddenly the French saw enemy soldiers at the edge of their camp called out in alarm and ran for their muskets stacked nearby. So this is where they was held up at. They must have felt safe with them rocks there, but anybody can step out. Maybe they was up there. Yep. No, they was camped down here. I see. And they got ambushed from the rocks up there. When the attack ended, the British had suffered one dead soldier and two wounded. Ten French soldiers lay dead, including their leader. And Sign Joseph Colin D. Jamonsgo at 21 were captured. One man escaped before barefooted and walked 60 miles to Fort Duquesne, present day Pittsburgh, to report this incident. Let's walk up there and see what that is, guys. This got me interested. I told you this, this place got history. This was an ambush site. So I bet you, you see that soldier here marching through here. He got killed. One escaped out of here and walked all the way to damn Pittsburgh and barefooted. That's 55, 60 miles from here. And that man walked barefooted there just to tell what happened. That's fascinating. I think this is a bad idea to walk up here on the lead snow. Nothing to grab to pull me up. I don't know if we're allowed up here, but I got to see this. It looks like heat coming out. No, I think it's a mirage, but I still want to check it out. Oh, there I go. Oh, shit. <coughs> I just got lifted right there. <coughs> I climbed up from there. Now my arm and hands are cold. Damn. The sounds up here is crazy. This is probably a spot that tells the same story. Looking over top of where it happened at is now what I'm seeing. There's a trail right here that I should have took, but it wouldn't have been fun if I took that trail. I had to take that trail. <laughs> oh my, but let's see what's up. It's closed. They don't want people out here. They don't want people here. This is out in the forest. Whew. That's what it is. From down there, it looked like a bunker. As Lieutenant Cole George Washington approached this glen on May 28, 1754, he knew the French position in numbers, but he did not know their intentions were the French troops here, diplomats. I just tell the story at daybreak Washington and his officers met nearby with Chris allies. It's crazy Fort Necessity. All that. This place got so much history out there. So they was down there camped at the bottom and men came the other oppo opposition came over the top of that rock, shot down on them. 
which would be a that's a perfect ambush and whoever was leading that group down there below they need pulled out and shot because that pretty much sent set their whole crew up to be killed they're down in a valley that's like that's like the worst thing i think to do bring your men down in a valley where your enemies can just come over top of you and shoot down on you wipe you out in a matter of seconds that's just my opinion but guys this is about to shut off so i'm gonna hurry up end this and start a new one stay tuned for this next venture guys